Hey guys, Sunday, Sunday, I just walked in the house from Russell's card show out in Plainview, Long Island. It's a basically a monthly show, small potatoes, you've heard it before, it is what it is. Place was crowded in the morning, but it's a beautiful day here in New York, so by noontime, there wasn't many people in the room. But even though, again, the room was pretty crowded in the morning, People walking right up past Russo's table, I don't understand. Had two tables, 16 feet of space, six showcases filled with the most beautiful stuff you've ever seen with fair and negotiable prices. Also had a couple of dollar boxes and also a 25 cent box, which I'm telling you, I sold them all to a dealer just to get rid of them, tired of taking them there, because you sell X amount during the course of a show, but you still take home the majority because, again, you got to have the customers if they don't stop or whatever. And then again, I always got to give heavy discounts. So what's the freaking point? So I sold all three boxes and I came home with a lot less weight. I still don't understand the guys, you know, how people could walk past your table without even looking unless they see that I don't have vintage, if that's what they collect. Because look, you go to a card show, you want, there's not that many tables, maybe, I don't know, what is there, 20 tables? So it's not like there's, you can't, don't have the time. Sure you have the time. Plus, Ricky gives good oral even at the shows, okay? Anyway, guys, I'm not complaining as far as what I took in. I do this to socialize, to get out of the house for a few hours, to meet guys like you. And Jack Labrizzi was there. He, you know, he came over. I haven't seen him in a while. He bought a few cards and nice guy, you know, that kind of thing. I'm sure you'll see a break from him because I think he bought some wax, but whatever. But again, overall, guys, the shows on Long Island, I've said it a million times, you got to get real, real lucky. And you got to sell to the dealers and you got to drop your drawers and bend over and the rest is history. But I bought some cards. There isn't many cards to buy at the shows, guys. There really isn't, at least my kind of stuff. But I bought some cards. You know, that's where I like. I mean, again, the wax is there. You know, if I don't buy cards, I mean, I want to do something. I got to give entertain you guys some way, somehow. But I got seven cards here that I'm going to show you that I picked up. And nice cards for my PC. Would have bought more, but there wasn't there. If they're not there, look, like I'm not into prospecting, guys. So I'm not going to guy buy a guy who's in single A that could be the next Mike Trout or Mickey Mantle. Because I don't know him. He's too far away. I might not be around that long. But I want a guy who's this close or has already got a taste of the big leagues and shown that he's young enough to mature and get better. You'll see it. You'll understand when I show you. But anyway, and then I'll give you a box break. Why not? All right? No big fat ass. Uh, again, guys, I still enjoyed myself. It is what it is. All right? All right. First off, Gleyber Torres. This is his first auto on card, Bowman Chrome, when he was with a cup. A lot of money, guys. But again, it's a base oil. Imagine if it was a numbered auto or whatever. Still a lot of money. But at least it's his first auto on card, which is a cup. Then I bought a Glyber Torres orange rookie auto, number 25, from Tech. I don't know if you can see it, but it's orange. It's number 25. So now I got two more Glyber Torres autos. Today I have four all together. The guy looks like he's the real deal. So the bottom line is what I paid, and they're not cheap. Maybe I can make uh, a dollar or two in the next few years. Next is another Yankee that's real, real freaking hot. We all know the deal. All right. It's Luis Severino. It's a chrome blue auto. Luis Severino, maybe the best pitcher in the majors now, argumentatively. And this is number two, what, 150? But it's nice. At least it's got some color. It's got some shine. It's a Louis baby. Louis baby. Now, next, I didn't have this. This guy didn't have any autographs until recently, you know, the last year. But they're all limited. And he's not what he is. But he's a Yankee. And it's a Tanaka autograph, guys. Tanaka. Didn't have one. Affordable. There's more money maybe last year because he's on the downswing. I don't know what this is from, guys. I can't see. I should have looked first what brand, but whatever. And it's numbered, and I think it's number 215. Yeah, to 15, so it's a low numbered, whatever it is, Tanaka. 
This was the big hitter, guys, all right? I've been looking for one of these because the kid's 19 years old. It's going to be a stud muffin. I could, I, not that I can't afford, but you can't find these, the colored ones for anything under 1000 or more dollars. But anyway, all right? Who's that? Soto. Juan Soto. It's the refractor version. The guy's 19 years old. He kills the Yankees already. He's a home run hitter. He's a young kid. Could go out tomorrow and break his leg, and I'd be out a nice piece of change on these guys. But even what I paid for him was from another dealer. He gave me a break. He says, Ricky, you've scratched mine so long, I'm going to give you a little scratch. And some basketball. Two cards, guys, then I'll give you the break. You know I love my basketball, guys. You know about the new encased basketball that came out in the last week or two. It's like $200 a box for like five or six cards. You get like two jersey cards, one auto, and then you get an encased card. And it's graded or whatever. It's the rookies, but whatever. I'm not going to spend the money. I've seen the breaks. It's really hunger. Hunger. So a friend of mine, a dealer, in the morning before I was even set up, he came around. And he says, I got two cards from Case that I pulled from one box. And he showed them to me. He said he had them up on eBay. I says, well, take them down. Just give me a good price. LeBron James, Emerald, number to five. Number to five. You can't go wrong with a low number. LeBron James, guys. The odds of what? Me pulling them in one box for 200 bucks? What would have been the odds? And then I bought the Giannis Antetokounmpo number to five. It's also the Emerald, the beautiful on court autograph of a guy that's always been hot over the last two years. Again, I bought those two cards for just a little more than what it would have cost me for a box. And he still had the encased card. I asked him what it was. It was a Marco Fultz encased autograph with a 9 grade with a 10 oil. So whatever. So he was happy. He made his money back, whatever. But I was happy. I got two nice cards. So I got seven cards for the PC. What do you think of that, guys? I would have bought more, I told you. But I, ain't, I couldn't because it wasn't there. Okay? Now, let me give you a break, and this is going to make you happy because it's a freaking baseball break, and I am telling you, I will cry when I finish with this, I guarantee you, because this is the worst shit for value. I mean, thank God it's not a $200 encased box. I mean, this is like 120 bucks, and you're going to get two autos, and there'll be $5 autos, and, but I wanted to do a baseball break for you guys because I always show you basketball, and lately I showed you some football, the elite. So I was at my friend's table with the wax, and I said, you know what? Let me fucking box. I've got to go entertain my tubers, my loyal guys who are going to put a comment down below, right? Russo, glad you had a good day. Uh, not beautiful cards, and sorry you got screwed on your freaking top's finest baseball break. Wait, you know, it didn't happen yet, guys, so... Let's prolong the screwing a little more. Let me get a little bit lubricated before you start singing the blues. And well, all right, guys. If I don't show you nothing, it means I got nothing to show you. I told you I'm not crazy about the cards. I got a Manny Machado. What are these inserts? I don't know what it's called. Whatever Manny Machado. The base cards I'm not going to show you. And I got my first autograph. And I pulled this from the other box. But I got a blue in the other box. This is a Christian Royal and Fractal. Fractals, fractals up your ass. And it's worth shit because the other one was a green one, number 1099. You don't even get $5. So that autograph, guys, was less than $5. So what do you think of that? Was I right? Like I said, you talk about value when finest is, you know, filling their boxes. Whatever. Look, don't get me started. You get me started. I had a nice day, enjoyable. I don't want to get started. Here's an Aaron Judge sitting red. Aaron Judge. You know, I had about 15 different rookie cards of Aaron Judge today. And the guy's hitting, uh, guy's hitting pretty damn good, right? Again, nobody even asked me for a card. So I have them from $5 to $15. So again, you tell me. Now, in this box, at least I got another Shahiatani. And I had the one I pulled from the other box. I had it out of my table for $10. No one even asked. Okay? $10, bucks, guys. Okay? So again... Refractor Chris Davis. Big freaking shit. Alright guys, just bear with me. We right? got another mini box coming another freaking time. Ago. Chris Bryant, Henry Ramirez, Andrew Benintendi. You know, one of these inserts. Big deal. What do you think you get for that, guys? What do you think you get? What do you think you ask? What do you think you get? You don't always get what you ask, okay? Two more packs for this mini box. 
Yeah, that somebody is going to go out and pull the one box and pull a freaking Derek Jeter number to five, two of five, right? So, whatever. Clint Frazier. And I got a blue of who? Perez. Who's this? I can't even see it because it's a little dark in here, guys. I'm sorry if you can't. But it's Perez. But big deal. It's a different piece of shit. And you guys wonder why I want to do singles. I mean, at least the singles I show, they're all of them are nice, right? Here you spend $120 and you burn the freaking money, guys. It's a goddamn crying shame. Robbie Ray refractor, and that's it, guys. All right, so let me open up the second mini box. I've got two boxes of total frustration. Again, nobody broke my arm, guys. I understand that I keep on saying to you, and I'm saying it as, as the day is long. And, uh, I did this for you. I could have gotten another basketball box of something, even if it was 50 bucks, and I opened the basketball, which is my pish. All right, let's see if I get a bunch of shit here. Refractor of Jonathan Angleton Simmons. Gary Sanchez, base card. Gary Sanchez. I had a couple of Gary Sanchez autos that I liked. I only had one. I mean, I didn't want to spend the money because the guy really is in a funk. He's on the DL right now. I'm not writing Gary Sanchez off. Just didn't feel like buying his cards today, okay? All right, here is my man, Jacob DeGrom. It's a purple. I mean, at least it's nice looking, but it ain't worth nothing, guys. Because I'm in New York, maybe I'll put a $3, $3 ticket on it. Three bucks is a goddamn shame. Probably with Severino, New York has probably the two best pitchers in baseball, argumentatively, okay? <sighs> nothing there. Guys, how long is this video? Freaking 11 minutes already? I'm telling you, you better enjoy the oil. Just sit back and enjoy the freaking oil, okay? Aaron Judge, base card. Albert Pujols. Uh, Travis Shaw, da 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 da, shit. Alright, two more packs. I'm missing an autograph, guys. Shohai Otani Blue Refractory autograph coming. Yeah, sure. Alright, a sitting red of. Who's this? Bryce. No, Matt Olson. Yeah, Matt Olson. Of the Olson twins. Please. Alright, it's got to be my autograph. It better be, otherwise, tops. I will find you too, just like I did Panini when they screwed me out of an order. Don't screw it, Russo. Okay. All right, I got a blue order, but let's see who it is. It's probably a piece of shit. Jose Abreu, insert one of these jobs, Jose Abreu. All right, so my blue autograph is of here. Tyler Mealy, Mealy, Matt Mali, Mali Fato, gentlemen. All right, guys, so at least it's blue. Like how I'm feeling, right? It's about now. Ciao.